But folks, welcome back for heat four of the San Fran International and uh, boats, I saw a puff of smoke come out of Johnny Siegel's PRO, the PRO out there in the rib, which means uh, we're coming up for a race four and uh, I think that last race is, has really set up this race because um, great win by Howie, as you saw, there's another gun there now, so we've probably got five to go. Um, yeah, Howie did a great job there. He really put it to them with that jibe set up the top both times and spat him out and I think he'll be doing that again and I think in fact they'll all be doing that. So uh, Smeg came through with a nice little second in that one. Trevor was right up there, put it in the tide. Um, can't do that here. So Trevor will be in there, Smeg will be in there, Woody will be in there. This, this is going to be a real nail biter, this one I would think and as long as they get off the line clearly and get a lane, everybody gets a clean lane, I think we're in for a ripper. So come back to you, we've got a few minutes to go, we'll come back and pick it up with a minute to go. So it looks to me as if we're inside a minute now, they're all getting pretty serious on a lane and uh, Johnny Winning is trying to hold them up, but the, the setup it would seem, you've got Smeg right out to the other side of the committee boat and that running tide is uh, taking them out that way so they can set up and just put their bows down and cruise into the start. So Smeg will be, he's wanting to start on that boat and again, right on the boat, he's got a boat in front of him and uh, that'll give him some grief. Whereas Trevor Barnabas and John Winning, there goes the gun. Another clear start, it would appear. There's a couple of uh, local boats trying to port tack the fleet. I think they'll get smashed, but uh, they're giving it a go none nonetheless. So it would appear that's a clean, clear start. Trevor's got a blinder. Smeg in the end is not too bad off, right up on the uh, boat end. And uh, all sailing towards us as we speak. And those uh, American boats, there's Alex Valens, CT Battens, he must have been getting gassed. He's tacked off early as well. Back onto port and heading out into the stream. So there it is, heat falls away and uh, Everybody got a pretty clear start, or our main uh, protagonist anyway, Grant Rollison's got a good start in the uh, Mounts Bay Sailing Club WA. Back goes Smeg, back goes Howie Hamlin, Trevor, Woody and Slam, or the ex-Slam, sorry, Grant Rollison's boat coming into the shore. Yamaha down to Leward here, uh, just tacking over, so all off in heat four. See you when we get some crosses towards that Golden Gate Bridge mark. Come back to you then. So everybody's gone back onto port, it's set, all except uh, Grant Rollison. You can see them coming straight towards us here. F all fully extended, fully pressured up in this uh, in this breeze now. It's pretty solid out there. We're probably looking at 18, gusting 20 plus. So the, all you pick the speed people today, I think we're going to see a better or a higher top speed. Yesterday Grant Rollison's boat got a 21.8. I think we'll be north of that because this breeze is uh, really sending them down there towards that Alcatraz mark. Around they go. All out again. Wasn't the greatest tack but uh, screwing right up here. They really, once they hit the shore here they really get their bows up but not for long unfortunately because you'll find uh, in about another 100 metres, they'll be bowed down back to the fleet. Meanwhile, you can see them all out there. The fleet gone out wide. Smeg, CT Batten's uh, gone out early. And you can pick them out with the red sails on Smeg. Uh, Trevor Barnabas there. It's a lure of John Winning, Jan Du. CST, Howie Hamlin, last heat winner. He's in the mix, but uh, I wouldn't think he's uh, as well off as he was this time last, last heat on the first beat. We'll come back to you uh, as we get closer towards the top mark and see how they settle down and who's going to lead them. Now this is interesting folks, there are uh, three boats there in the viewfinder now approaching this top mark. They've actually dragged that mark in probably close to 80 metres into the shore and it's a lot softer in there. And John Winning, no he can't lay, I didn't think he could. He, but the boat that crossed them all going up was Grant Rollison. Remember, he came right into this club shore, and that boat is the boat just in front of Thurlow Fisher, who's crossed Woody. Grant Rollison in uh, Western Australia, Mounts Bay Sailing Club, is our leader, our first early leader at the top mark for the first time. Well done, Rollo. And right behind him is Trevor Barnabas. So what's Rollo going to do? He surely has to jibe set here. Not in a hurry to get that shoot up. And as I was saying, it's in and out of the breeze a bit in there and it's a lot softer. Rollo finally got, gets the black shoot up. 
Thurlow a little bit slicker. And he's in second, and round comes John Winning in third. Another great performance by them. Yamaha will be the fourth boat around, the Kiwi entrant. Then Smeg, and can't quite make out who the sixth boat is. It might be Howie. I think it's Panasonic. Then CT Battens, I can pick their sail insignia out. So they're actually split a bit. There's quite a bit of separation between these uh, first, well, the first two back to the third boat, John Winning, and then there's a bit of a pile up there. You can see Yamaha and Smeg and CT Battens jibed out. So that's what we've got. That's what we're looking at. Great race for first. Grant Rollison's uh, Western Australian entry and Trevor Barnabas smoking along out there as they come down towards his first ga gate mark. They've got to go through those two yellow cans as usual. And John winning another great spot. His mate Howie has uh, dropped off him, so Howie's got a lot of work to do here. Currently, John Winning and Howie Hamlin are tied in, on the leaderboard at six points all. And the next boat in the uh, in third position is Nicky Press in the Smeg with that uh, second place they got in the last race. Then comes Thurlow Fisher and then Slam. Or oh, sorry, I keep calling it Slam. It's Western Australian Sailing uh, Mounts Bay Western Australian Sailing Club. Thanks very much, Rollo. Anyway, that's that's the running order on their way to the gate for the first time, come back as they get closer. So as they approach the gate mark for the first run down, uh, Grant Rollison, very shabby uh, attempt there. He was a leader at the top mark and he's given up two spots. Through goes um, Thurlow Fisher Lawyers, ex Cocker, now Trevor Barnabas. Led them, uh, or was second in that last race behind Howie when he put it in and now got his nose in front. Johnny Winning, Mr Consistency, Back into second in heat four. Rollo finally got his act together, jibed over, and he's dropped probably over 100 metres to the leader. And they're really starting to smoke down there to that uh, bottom turn market, Alcatraz. Fourth still is, uh, with the first Kiwi boat, Yamaha, then CT Battens, then Howie Hamlin. So Howie's back in sixth. And Smeg in seventh. Panasonic, Lumix, and then Harkin from uh, Glenn Raphael's entry borrowed boat from um, here and uh, lives with Rollo when Rollo's in Western Australia which is very rare. That's it, we'll see you down the uh, bottom mark and get the roundings down there. This stage it's Thurlow Fisher. Go Trev.